Hi, my name is Gigi Morales and I'm an artist and an author and I'm delighted to tell you about my picture book, Dreamers. There are many reasons why I created Dreamers, but one of the most important ones is that I wanted to celebrate what immigrants bring to a new country when they arrive. They bring their strength, they bring their abilities, their talents, their passion, las ganas por hacer algo. Another reason why I created Dreamers, picture books helped me find my path and my purpose as an immigrant in the United States. What I remember most dearly is uh, some nights in which uh, my mother will sit next to her sewing machine and she will put a chair for me at the table. She will bring a pencil or a pen and pieces of paper. She will let me draw away as she needed to work. This was late that night because she had already been doing all the other chores and now she needed time to create I love to use symbolism in my work. As I was researching for this book, I found out the monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies, they take such a long time to arrive here that when they come to the United States, they are already a fourth generation. And it made me think so much about how immigrants, some of us do things like that. We come and not necessarily thinking that what we are gonna change is our own life, but how we are gonna be adding and changing the life of those that come after us. You will also find a bat. There are bats that also come from Mexico. They arrive in some areas of California and they also arrive to Texas. You will find also some other animals uh, such as a snake. And it actually what it signifies is how as we move, as we are learning, there are those who will maybe will put in our path something that feels uh, difficult, that feels like it's hard to understand why we have to go through these things. But eventually we find that those things that, that at the beginning uh, we, we didn't know how to deal with, eventually that will be our strength. We will learn from that. You will see also something that resembles the craft that uh, metal workers use for some of the artwork that is made in Mexico and I did it with the swallows. There, are, there is also inspiration like, like the volcanoes you see there. They are the representation of the sleeping woman and also of the warrior and to me they are very very important because they symbolize, they symbolize both the, the feminine power and the waking up of the power of, of people. We all have things to say, we all have stories, and we do it in different ways. Sometimes it can be as simple as you grab a few pieces of paper and you tie them together, you make a little book. And in that book, you can create your own story in many different ways. Uh, sometimes maybe you wanna write words. Sometimes you might not want to use any words. Perhaps you are going to make a drawing or two or three. As long as you feel that whatever you put in those pages is telling what you want to say, then you are creating your own book. There are many different ways of saying that story and every one of us, you have your very own way to tell what you want to say. Spanish has always a very strong place in all the stories that I tell. The way I see it is that Spanish and English are like siblings. They are like these two languages that are not separate from each other. In fact, they are part of one same language. Lastly, I want to leave you with one quote from my book. Someday, we will become something we haven't even yet imagined. But right now, we are stories, we are resilience, we are hope, we are dreamers, soñadores of the world. Thank you.